Hey, hey, Vern. Hey. There's no motor. It's a hand winch. That's crazy. That big a winch. My gosh. And it's mounted here on this skid. What in the heck was that for? All right, this looks like this could be like the altar here. All right, now I've seen this, I've seen this in Ephesus. When they want a couple stones to stay together, together, they'll take and they'll pound in this steel. And this one, they actually use some lead in here to keep it in there. And it keeps everything tight so it can't move apart. And often that's where they have a doorway opening. I'm not sure that there's any kind of a doorway opening here at all. So these walls are just a mix of so many different things. You've got rock, you've got brick, you've got stones that almost look like they're Roman era. And you got archway openings. Very different. It's hard to say what was what. All right, the journey continues. Let's see what other mysteries this place is hiding. Ooh, that looks kind of imposing. I see this metal gate with this hole leading downstairs. Yeah, it doesn't give me the happy feeling right there. How about you guys? All right, so it looks to be maybe more access to the cistern system here because it looks to be more openings to the well. So that little thing I just showed you could have been just an area to get down into the cistern actually. Yep, that's what that is. That's exactly what that is. Okay, so maybe it wasn't as creepy as I thought. What do you think, you guys, you like this place so far? I'm kind of curious what's in here. It just looks like a storage room. some creepy factor in there. Surprising how big this place is. It's probably, I'm guessing the same size as Geocaster's castle. So I'm gonna be curious to compare the two once I've seen this castle. Wow, a lot of these places had access to the cistern. Must be a heck of a big cistern down there for so many of these going down there. Wow, I've never seen that in any other site. So many cistern accesses. That's really smart, I like that. Whoever built this place kind of was using their head. So that means what I'm standing on is above a complete underground then. Oh, look at this opening to the river, very incredible. So that's where we got off our bus right there by that gas station, right after the gas station, actually. Right in here. <laughs> Look at what they put on the roof. Frisca, Rescia, Rescia, Friskia. I can't see the other letter. What a great view. Look at that. Amazing. So when I warn you guys about the undergrounds falling into something, you've seen the different cistern holes now. And it shows me this whole thing is a, another level where I'm standing on. All right. So this looks to be a little bit hard to get to. But I have a feeling it just goes to a little lookout position here. Looks to be a little hard to get to, but I think it's going to be just a little lookout position. I don't think it's going to be much. So I'm on my normal microphone, the road mic today instead of my lapel mic. It was so windy. Oh, look at this. It was so windy the last place I went that I wasn't able to use this mic. Great opening here. Here's a perfect example. 
So you step into that, or if you step into that, right there, or even there, could, could be a problem. When you see tall grass like this, be really darn careful. Try to walk where the people have walked. There's no, oh shit, these sites <laughs> telling you what and what not to do, so. You're on your own, baby, just like old school. You get hurt, it was dummy you. That's how that worked. That's how that works here still. <laughs> like it or leave it, baby. That's how it goes. I kind of like a little bit more of a Wild West myself. I don't like to be so tightly regulated. Take away your freedoms and your chance to exist. I don't like that at all. All right, so let's go into this opening. Let's see where this brings us with the gate, iron gate. Let's see where this takes us. restaurant or something up here. Alright, we've got a little stairway here. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Where does that go, right? What is the point of that? Alright, a stairway, you got to go up it. Can't just not figure out what this is. So it looks to be a lookout. Maybe there was a house up here at one time or a patio. What a great view though. Oh my gosh. All right, it looks to be a patio here. Maybe this was a lookout at one point. So this must be the third courtyard. views up here what's up here just another place to stand and sit oh very far down you guys if you don't like heights don't look very far down imagine what it took to build the walls right on the edge here that must have been scary that would not have been a job for me how about you are you not afraid of heights and you would have built those walls no problem? All right, so this is considered the third courtyard. Oh, this is kind of interesting. This is very different from the other openings. Look at how old this one looks. Wow, this looks Roman here. Oh my gosh, they're using some wire to hold it together. Very wild. This was their well opening for this area. Very wild. Hmm. I love the idea that you can get water anywhere in any courtyard. That's such a great idea. Oh, look there. Don't want to fall in that one. It's the same thing. All right, we got a little stairs here going out. Okay. Now well, it just looks to end right there. Oh, well, it goes right in here. They're opening. So this could have been an area that where you'd sit and maybe have a meal. Look out! This incredible river scene here. Yeah, I'm digging that. Digging that. Hi, this is kind of interesting. I have these little metal pegs in the end of this stone here for this opening. All right, so one's probably the restaurant and one is also probably a museum. And then there's gonna be some kind of an underground here, a prison and whatnot, but is this another well opening? What is this here? Oh, bizarre, look at that, that's kind of creepy. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to go down that, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's like ultra creepy. All right, you 
you guys. Creepy time, here we come. Ah. Gotta be really careful in here though. Slide and fall on your butt, like real easy. Oh, it goes down to there, okay. It smells real dank down here too. There's no light on either. Not natural light. Is that a railing or is that a light that came off? Looks like a light that came off. Hmm. Bear with me guys, this opening's really damn tight. Real small. Very slippery. Well, that just goes where? Oh. Does that go down to the cistern? Where does that go? Yeah, it goes down again. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I think I'm gonna try another opening to go down there. Where does this one go? Huh. <laughs> All right, these get really tight in here. Uh, hmm. I suppose. Should I stay or should I go? How's that song go? All right, let's go. This one's at least easier to get through. The other one just gets smaller and smaller, like a hermit crab. And the opening is. Three foot five. All right, where are we at here? Creepy factor. Holy smokes. Yeah. I didn't want you getting out of here. Look at this place. Is there a dungeon or jail? walls so if he could get out here he'd at least be at the wall oh, that's weird didn't expect there to be a an open room here I'll show you what I'm looking at look at this low opening here it's like three foot five and then you go up to this creepy low ceiling stairway that goes up and it goes down again Huh. If you're not into claustrophobia, don't go. <laughs> All right, let's go back out of here. I don't like tight spaces so much. And being with this backpack, I'm even limited with low ceilings. So you can hear it rubbing on the damn thing. All right, so where's this creepy little crap go down to? I don't know. At least we'll poke our head down here a little bit. It's down to their dungeon. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's see if there's another way down there other than that little stairwell. All right, so you basically climb up here very darn carefully. This is not a good stairwell anymore. All right, so I'm above ground right now. We're gonna go back here and go in these buildings and see if we can get to a main underground. That looks to be a restaurant here. Let's find out. Yeah, it looks to be.
All right, so we have to go in here to get to the underground. All right, so this looks like this could be like a prison. See the bars on the windows? Makes you wonder, huh? What was this place? All right, looks like there's another fee to get in here maybe. I don't know. So there's another entrance here, you guys, and it's 200 lakh, and I think this takes us to the underground and, and the prison or museum? It's a museum of the castle. Okay, so it's a museum of the castle, and there's no camera. So sorry, guys. I'll have to tell you what it looked like. 